Kirsty here with KJ Wise, and today I wanted to talk about scheduling your business. I know that a lot of businesses say to work it into the nooks and crannies of your life, and that's true if you're super busy, but the thing that I've realized is that you have to schedule it in, like seriously schedule it in. So the last couple weeks I've been working on just doing a very strict morning schedule and it is really working well. Um, I've even gotten down to um, downloading an app on my phone that times everything. I know a lot of um, successful people are doing that. The app that I'm using is called Fabulous right now. I'm, I'm looking into that. I'm working with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that one, but there are a couple. Some other people use um, seconds, I think. I mean, it literally times it down to the second. I think people usually use that for workout intervals where you wanna like just do a workout for so long and then you quickly switch to the next one. So people are using that for their morning routines or for their days. So with Fabulous, I'm right now scheduling my morning pretty, pretty strict. And then I'll have some open times and then my afternoon and my evening, because I don't know, like, okay, I've been around a couple years now on the planet, and I know that in the summer, it starts to stay lighter, longer. Why can't I figure out the dinner needs to be done before, say, I don't know, nine o'clock at night? So I have to actually schedule dinner in there because I keep forgetting. Um, but to schedule the little blocks of time that I have set, no excuses, and I have to do my work right in there. So. Start scheduling your time in the morning, some time for you to just collect your thoughts, get your schedule done, look at your calendar, what you have to do for the day, and then make sure that you block out your time, whether it's a half an hour or four hour block, to do the work that you wanna do. Phone calls, um, follow up on clients, orders, paperwork, get your, get your um, I don't know if you have like a go bag when you do a presentation, get that ready. Make sure that you have blocks of time. Also, if you're doing multiple businesses or multiple things, what I found works for me best is I used to try to do like, oh, my Facebook posts and then my team trainings and then like do every, a little bit of everything every day. And now I'm trying to switch it up to do just like focus on one thing for one day. So I'll block my days out for different activities. So hopefully that helps. If you have any tips, Go ahead and leave it on my Facebook page or on the comments below and let me know what your tips are for keeping on track on schedule. Oh, another thing is that I was listening to a podcast and the guy said that he would set his phone alarm for every nine minutes so that um, it would remind him to stay back on track. I think that was Hal Elrod. <clears throat> yeah, so every nine minutes his phone would go off to just remind him like, are you on track? Are you focused? Are you doing your activity that you should be doing? Or are you, did you get off track? <laughs> Playing with Facebook? Are you doing a game? Chatting on the phone with your sister? Um, I think that I, my phone going off every 10 minutes would drive me nuts. But with Fabulous, I do have an alarm to keep me on track and say, you know, this is the block of time. You know, what are you doing your activity right now? So hopefully that helps. Let me know your tips and tricks that you use to stay focused. And I will see you next time. Thanks.